So I don't think I need to give separate introduction about me. So it was some very simple and humble introduction about myself, okay? So what your team has given. Now, I was very much alighted when I just got a call from Ramamurthy sir saying that, sir, you need to talk to the next generation engineers who are basically going to look for their career very seriously. Uh, so I just thought like, okay, let me share my experience with you people. And just see that you can just understand the next generation world, how it is really trying to go. Even I don't think being part of your academics, these things are very new to you. But what I basically find, feel, majority of the times when I speak with youngsters is, they have a gap in uh, understanding exactly what the industry demands and what their academics demands. Especially uh, coming from our Indian education system, we are more worried at the end of the day, uh, how much amount of uh, so like milestones we have reached by the marks and grades rather than understanding what is exactly the fundamental point the industry looks towards it. So I just don't want to take the things in a very specific manner but we will just try to understand the world of uh, demand that is there for the next generation engineers who are about to come and what currently is happening in the industry when your seniors or maybe your super seniors are already into the markets. So what I just want to say is, uh, there is a buzzword. word, most probably what happens is the majority of the times we run behind the words that are making brand in the markets, like most probably when you join your first year of engineering, most probably I think you could be having some kind of uh, fundamental idea from your parents or maybe the neighbors saying that uh, IT is this, computer science is this, EC is going to do this. With all the kind of different thought process when you join your academics, finally we forget one thing like once we are out of this institution and we are moving out of the fourth year, what industry is looking towards us? So what all you learned in your colleges and what all you had in your academics is exactly used in the industry. There is nothing different in that. But the only thing is perspective. The perspective and the direction towards the industrial state if we can develop, every technology you are learning in your academic syllabus is absolutely the same what we use there. We don't do any rocket science in the industry. The same kind of algorithms what you have learned in your classrooms, we implement them. But the only difference is, the way you look into the algorithm and the way the industry expects yourself to implement the algorithm could be different. So like you have written a first program in your uh, so like first year with adding of two numbers in so like a language like C. First time your computer was doing that, you felt excited, no doubt about it. Now at the same time, majority of things I have seen people saying that adding of two numbers is not a real time word. No. Everything you do here goes there. But the only difference is we will be putting more emphasis in making it with high quality, more optimization, scalability, what is the reliability of the program, what I am trying to develop. These are the things we will be looking to. So when you talk about IOT, individually IOT has no meaning. So you cannot look into the next generation technologies with individual frame. So like once upon a time, maybe I was a database developer. I survived with my database almost all for 15 years. Only database was serving me and I was making my bread and butter in a very wonderful way. Even though I started my career with my assembly language when I entered into my industry, my first level project was on assembly. Now I moved on every time I got an opportunity. Means when my industry said that, Sadish, your next project, you have to do it in C language. I shifted. I never, I never questioned my company. Now, when I am into my assembly for so many number of months or years, why I need to get into my C? No, your demand is C, I will get into that. Because I got an opportunity to do that. So, the first thing a student who is coming out of academics should keep in his mind is how much you are mercuric in your state of adapting any new technology that comes in front of you. That's the most important thing you have to learn. You could have learned multiple different number of technologies but your industry demands what from you? Exactly, you can't say sitting in these classrooms. So once you come into my system, you have to follow my rules, you have to follow my methodologies, you have to think like me and you have to keep your focus only on my goal, not your goal. So if you cannot understand my goal, absolutely your career is in a problem because I can't keep you into my team because I have to carry myself to give some product or to give some particular application what my client is demanding. So my goal is what my client demands. 
but client is always his dream what he wants to achieve in his business. So I am working for the sake of my client. My client is working, keeping the focus of his business, what he wants to deliver to his customers. So what his customers are demanding, he is thinking about that. So this is a process of integrated connectivity of thoughts. So once, say like five years or six years back, if you take, we took one technology and we used to come out with a solution. But when we come to the current world of big data, or you talk of cloud computing, you talk about IoT, these are not individual. So I le I'm learning IoT. What solutions I can give? No, I cannot give any solution if I'm just IoT. Because my IoT has to get integrated with some other area of implementation. If someone has a cloud guy, I'm a, I'm a cloud computing professional. Now what wonders I can do? Nothing. Because individually cloud can't do anything. So cloud has to be integrated. If someone I'm saying a big data specialist, I'm a big data specialist with artificial intelligence oriented perspective, what I can do? I can't do anything individually because these two have to be integrated with some other technology once again. So, after 15 years of IT progress, means technically if we are speaking, if you seriously speak from 2000, if we are speaking that IT had a transformation, from 2004-2005, the transformation standards have gone in such a way that people are working in the IT since last 30-40 years, they themselves got confused. What, what is the next journey the IT is going to take? Because they started understanding that we are making everything in our day-to-day -day life to come into an integrated state to give the services to the human being. It's not one single component or one single technology that, that drives the entire process. That's what they started understanding by 2004. By 2010, we are very clear that individually nothing can happen in a wonderful way in the IT sector. We are getting into the world of interconnected complications. When these interconnected complications are arising, there are only two things now. One, make the IT go back to the same old methodologies and say like the world should not develop. If the world is developing, it's complicated. Technology growth should not happen, we have to stop it now. But once the technology has started putting its influence on the human beings, you can't stop it. That's what we understood by 2004. 2010 we are confirmed. And 2015 is definitely a transformation and it's a very high level introspection to the world that we have to develop new kind of engineers now. We have to develop every professional in a new way. Even the accountants and the commerce graduates, they can't survive in the next few years if they don't change their perspective of their academic culture. It is just going to be even with accountants and commerce graduates. What I am speaking is outside your academics, but it's basically true. When those people cannot survive with their natural state of commerce and accounting, now I think engineers can never, never survive definitely, because we are the people who build the systems. We are the people who build the world with technological integrations. So, we have to be more cautious about the process that's happening in and around us. If we don't understand what's happening in the next part of the world and in the next five to six years down the lane in the world, we are obsolete. By the time we realize, the world will reject us. So shall we start from the scratch once again? It's impossible. So the simple things what I say is, imagine that, let us just think about a process now. Imagine all your parents have taken a decision that they are not going to make you get into the world of internet and your mobile phones select for 30 days. It's a decision taken by, say like Indian government has given a strict resolution that all the youngsters in India, they should not be on the internet and their mobile phones for next 30 days. It should be strictly monitored by everybody. If anybody is found to be on that particular internet and mobile phone for in these 30 days, if they are found to be there, we will prosecute them for 3 years. Imagine we took a decision of this. How many of you people think that you can survive now? I bet 3 fourths of the Indian youngsters will become mad immediately. Psychologically, we become disturbed. Some special kind of psychological symptoms will start. I am not speaking, my words, these are 
basically statistically analyzed. These, these things have been analyzed. These are the clear statistical standards of information that is available in the world today. Now that doesn't mean that everybody is misusing the technology, but we, our dependence on the technology has increased. I do not say that everybody who has a smartphone is misusing their phone, but I say that his dependency to that particular smartphone has increased. So, if the state of the IoT is not understood in a proper way, at the end of the day what happens is, we will just try to take the basic definition of the IoT, do one or two things that basically people say like a sensor is necessary, a communication circuit is necessary, this kind of things will speak and will come off. But the final goal of the next generation world is integrating IoT with cloud and big data. We can't do any projects in the coming years being an individual technological specialist. I cannot get isolated from my world. All these years what happened is a civil engineer can live like a civil engineer. He doesn't need to integrate with any other people or any other perspectives of any academics or say like any other kind of specializations. A mechanical engineer can do his services as a mechanical engineer. He doesn't need to take the services of anybody, no dependency. A computer science graduate is just depending on the computer and the software. An electronics graduate is depending on his own electronic device and the circuitry what he is going to design. But that world is gone now. All these specialists, if they do not come together, we can't give the expected world of next generation computing sciences.